So Red Room Airsoft invited us to Hong Kong and since we're already in Southeast Asia We finally arrived at Bangkok. Now every time I air travel, it amazes me how you just get on the plane, you fall asleep, and when you wake up, you're in a completely different environment. Hey Ben, what's up? It's Norwich. Now let's make a short field tour and check out how an airsoft game area in Thailand looks like. So Ben, can you give us a short tour? A mixed CQB in open field. Attention. 45, 45, 50 players at the max. And it's just rushing. People are really fast here. So the first thing, the first difference I can feel is the humidity. And it's freaking hot. What's very unique? What I can see from here is this bridge. Looks wobbly. <laughs> yeah, safety in Thailand. <laughs> One person at a time. Yeah. So as you can see, it's a nice mix of abandoned houses and those set up bunkers, cars and stuff. Let's check out those houses. Most of those buildings are two-story, and as you can see, they're pretty fucked up, so they're perfect for airsoft. You get like this combat vibe. How do Thai players compare to American players? Yeah. It depends, like on, on pickup games in America, they're even faster. Yeah. Like usually they're, they're just run like a very short quarter star M4. Yep. High cap. And that's it. Like that's all they do. Right. They're usually 12 years old and fast as fuck. Like wow. they're just wearing like, you know, Shorts, jogging, yeah. joggings and, and not even boots, like sneakers or whatever. They're so fast. Wow. And they have, they have those, you know, 60 round per second polar stars. Yeah. So they're like seeing it like it's just no way ever sit down. It's ridiculous. But for Milsim it's I don't know the Milsim community here. Yeah. But when it comes to pickup games I would say Thai people are faster than European people. Yep. But slower than American people. Okay. It's a little more tactical. And what's cool is that they don't really give a shit about gear. They're not like those gear horse which have to be like perfectly equipped. <laughs> <laughs> like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's relaxed, I like it. It's chill. <laughs> Game is over for today. I have to say the Thai as community is amazing. I had no cheaters at all. People were super fair, there were no people complaining about whatever, like minimal engagement distances, so I had a really good experience and now we'll get some Thai food and then we're heading to Hong Kong to visit Red Roof. Hi, yeah. 
Don't wake him, be quiet. What? Always ready. <laughs> What's up guys? Today I'm playing at a field in Thailand with a GNG Armament GC16 Predator AEG. Since I'm running just a high cap magazine, my gear is lightweight, which allows me to move very fast. I'm not experienced with red dot sights, so my aim at the beginning of the day is not that great. But I'm learning fast, as you will see in this gameplay. The game mode is a simple team deathmatch, so my goal is to take out as many opponents as possible. There is a bamboo bridge crossing over to the enemy's respawn point. It's very exposed, but if I can make my way over there I have a perfect angle on my opponents. I'm approaching the bridge slowly, to make sure no fire line cuts off my way. Before I can completely cross over, I have to clear the area around me. Now I have to be silent, to not attract unnecessary attention. The building to my left is safe. Now I want to cross the enemy's respawn point to clear the building on the other side too. There are no enemies left, so the game is over. This time I'm trying to fight my way through the middle of the game area. There are too many angles on me in that bunker, so I quickly move on to the left flank. Oh. 
sides changed and more players joined the BB war. The small game area gets crowded which makes sneaking around the enemies a lot harder. A fire line traps me in that corner. I have to move to another position quickly. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay as much as I enjoyed playing with the Thai community. This is Norwich, I see you guys next Monday. We finally arrived at Bangkok. Now every time I air travel it amazes me how you just get on the plane, you fall asleep and when you wake up you're in a completely different environment.